I greet you in the name of Jesus. It's a joy to be in the house of God. It's a joy to be here while it's raining outside. And we thank God for that. We are called Omega Church. And our theme for the year is to become disciples of Christ. And that's why uh, for visitors and those who are following us online, you hear so much that we are into the Bible. We want to become disciples of Jesus. Our calling is to prepare the bride of Christ. And the bride of Christ is the disciple. And this year we emphasize on that so much. For the last week, we the servant of God shared with us a word in this theme we are into. They're talking about the promises we have in Jesus Christ. And all of us, all of that leading us into becoming disciples of Christ. He has given us a promise that says, ask and it will be given unto you. Now I'd like to remind you one more thing he said. Say that asking and receiving is conditional. It has and that's why he put his emphasis on it. He explained how many times you can ask and don't receive just because we are not aligned with the will of God. And it was really good. And I encourage you to get that teaching. So that you might know the reason why some Sometimes you ask and you don't receive. So I'll go on from there. I'll go on from there. The promises we have when we ask. What the Bible says about certain things we pray for. And I'll also emphasize on the fact that it is conditional. It requires you something. There is something God has to do. And there is also a part to play. And everything we're going to say will get it from the word of God. I tell you, you who are sitting in front of me, but also for us for those who are following us on different medias I really like to encourage you that at the end of the teaching you should go back to your and be like the disciples of Maria. Because we want to be disciples. We want to know the truth. And we want to differentiate the truth from lies. Because only the truth can set us free. It's not our mindsets that are going to set us free. It's not the way we see things. It's not what to set us free. It's not even how we are in the morning. It's not to set us free. We are going to be set free by the truth of the word of God. Today we are having this topic. Our topic for today. It's okay. Uh, let us read Philippians. Philippians chapter 4. We're talking about the promises we have in Jesus Christ. And the promise we are talking about is my oh, wow. God shall supply all your needs. Please clap for Jesus. That's how it is. God will supply all our needs. 
We are going to uh, go into that word detail. And we are going to see how God is going to supply all your needs. I really encourage you to follow me. I encourage you to follow me. And see how God is going to supply all our needs. It's a promise. It is in the Bible. So now let us read in Philippians chapter 4. We have it on the screens. Pastor will read in Kinyarwanda, will read in English. Kandi Sirimwe gusa ahubwo ni kabiri nyamara burya si impano nshaka ahubwo nshaka ko imbuto zongerwa kuri muri mwe dore mfite ibinkwiriye byose ndetse mfite ibi saga ndahaze ubwo maze guhabwa na Epaphrodite ibyo mwohereje bimbere uyu mubabwe uhumura neza igitambo cyemewe gishimwa n'Imana Kandi dorerero rya sezerano Kandi imana yanje izaba mara ubukene bwanyu bwose nkuko ubutunzi bw'ubwiza bwayo buri muri Yesu Kristo Icyubahiro kibi cy'Imana yacu ariyo data wa twese teka ryose vuga uti amen Amen we read in Philippians chapter 4 from verse 14 it says Nevertheless you have done well that you shared in my distress now you Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel when I departed from Macedonia no church shared with me concerning giving and receiving but you only even in Thessalonica you sent aid once and again for my necessities not that I seek the gift, but I seek the fruit that abounds to your account. Indeed, I have all and abound, and I am full, having received from Epaphroditus the things you sent from you, a sweet-smelling aroma, an acceptable sacrifice, well-pleasing to God. And the promise was on 19, and my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Now to our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Ujire uwo wimura ahantu mushyira handi mwami muri Yesu Kristo watwemereye ko dufite ububasha bwo gufata mpiri impaka gufata mpiri ibitekerezwa byose mu mitima y'abantu gufata mpiri ikintu cyose kishyira hejuru kurwanya kukumenya byose tubizanye munsi ibirenge bya Yesu Kristo ndasenga ngo ijambo ryawe wo bubwa uri herekeze mwuka wera kugira ngo wemeze ushaka kwemeza uhindura ushaka guhindura uhigisubiza wajyaga yibaza byinshi ushyire ahantu ushaka kumenya ushonje kuri wese umuhishurire ukuri kwiki cyanditswe uhabwe icyubahiro nguhaye uyu mwanya wose wivugira ukushima inesi nange twishyize mu biganza byawe ngo wo ushyirwe hejuru twe ducishwe bugufi mu izina rya Yesu uvuga ngo amen Paulo yabwiragande who was Paul writing to Paulo yandikiraga bafilipi Paul was writing to Philippians Paulo yari mu nzu y'imbohe Paul was in jail kuba mu nzu y'imbohe ubutegereje abagira neza Being in jail it means you're waiting for those who are going to help you Zubuga byo biravuga ngo utegereje umugira neza In fact being in jail means that you're waiting for uh, those who are uh, Tuziko Paulo atagiraga umugore We know that Paul didn't have a wife Na nahantu bibiri tubwira ababyeyi ibi And the Bible doesn't even mention his parents Bigaragara yuko ntabandi so obviously he was waiting for no other person to remember him. 
Philippians, the fact that the church of Philippians thought about him, it touched his heart. When we read that chapter 4, uh, Paul starts teaching, and then he exalts, and then after he goes to his personal testimony, and that's where he's speaking, praise be to Jesus. When Paul was appreciating Philippians, he was touched. He was touched. He was touched. I would like to remind you that the word of God has decided to send to or to give to us what is of what the Holy Spirit had written and so many other things that the Holy Spirit can reveal to you that is not written. This is so that we might stand in this. Indeed, God wanted us to stand in so this so that we might be blessed by God. So now, Paul, he's appreciating. He said, of all the churches, there is no other church that has contributed to this giving and receiving. No other church. It's only you, Philippians. He said, even when I was coming from Macedonia, it's you. Try to imagine God saying, no one else has thought about that problem I had, it's just you. you. And he said, even in Thessalonica, I can't, I can't forget that it's, only, it's not only once that you help me. You have sent me supplies two times. I want to tell you that this was written for you and for me, brethren. So that we might know that God will keep it to heart and mind whoever does good. So that we might keep into mind that God has his eye on those who are doing good. God those, those who do good. And his eyes on those who do good to others. It's as if Paul would have said there were so many churches. I was in prison and I had helped so many. Remember he was there for the gospel. Hallelujah. 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 He was in prison because of the the gospel. He says, of all I had preached to, the only church that oh, managed to remember me was only Philippians. Let us thank God for the Philippians. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Paul said, I appreciate you. Say, I appreciate you. Because you have supplied my needs. You really came to my rescue. You came that time I needed it the most. I don't know if it has ever happened to you. Someone came to you when you needed it the most. Imagine thought about that person. Thank Jesus for that time when someone rescued you when you needed it. He needed it you came the time I needed it most. He said, however, you know the devil has always been the same since old. He said, these people think that I'm asking them to give me. You know, now, as a preacher, when you know what is going on in people's mind, you need to address it by name. So that you might bring down that Pattern. He said, now I see it that the day for will convince you that I'm asking you. What I'm telling you is not to ask from you. It's not that I'm looking for your gifts. He said, there is one thing I want. Hallelujah. I really love this word. In English they say, he said, I seek the fruit that abounds in your account. I want that in your heavenly account there might be something. I want that in your account in heaven something will increase. Hallelujah. Say amen indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Yes, Praise be to Jesus. Let us explain this word poverty or need. When the Bible talks about poverty, it's not always about money. It's not always about lacking food. That's what we think. You know, in our world, when we are lacking money, we are sad. When we need food, then it's a big problem. But when the Bible talks about poverty, it talks about that need you have. What you need most. Not what you're, uh, what you're desiring or lasting after, but that thing that you need. For those who are sleeping, tell them what you need. Tell him what you need. What you need. God knows your need. God, he doesn't care about what you last after, but he knows what you need. He knows what you need most. In a certain time, he knows what you need. In the different seasons of life, he knows what you need. Sometimes you might not even know what you need, but God knows what is needed. I want to give you an example. My friend Cornelius. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Cornelius in Acts of Apostles chapter 10. He was religious. He was uh, praying with his family who was God-fearing and who was doing acts to help people. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Cornelius was balanced but he needed something. Say a need. He had a need. Cornelius was lacking something. That was salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God knows what is lacking. What Cornelius lacked was salvation. Salvation. That's why in heaven they had to tell Peter to come in hurry and say, come fast. Because what he is lacking is salvation. Tell a neighbor, God knows what you need. He knows what you need. Second person. A woman I love so much. The Shunammite woman. The Bible says that she was a rich woman. Don't confuse her. She was rich. And then the host, the servant of God, Elisha. A woman was wise. She told her husband. Say, of the riches we have, let us also include God. Please come. For Jesus. I thank God for the wise women. That woman reminds me that they are wise women who are not just running after things, but to know how to attract God in their homes. Today you need to change. Or women, you need to change. It's not my teaching for today, but I like to tell you who is following me. Stop crying about shoes and dresses. They don't love me. They don't look at me. Think about how you can bring God in your home. That Shunammite woman, she told the husband, let us build a room for Elisha. Elisha had the spirit of the living God. Just like other people like Paul, he was touched by that action. And then he told, he told Gehazi, Say, can't you tell me what that <inaudible> man is lacking? Because my God is telling me to do something because she has done something too. Oh, does she need to be known by the king? Or to be known by the chief of army? And Gehazi will run and ask the woman, do you want to be known as the chief? The president, Kagame. can I take you there? to the chief of army but the woman was wise say I'm comfortable I'm well. I have no other problem I'm okay where I am I live in my people 
Elisha. But Elisha, the Spirit of God didn't let him be at peace. We need to do something for that woman to heal because she has touched me. Say she has touched us, down your neighbor. Say you need to touch the heart of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She want, he wants back. I said, oh, he, she needs a son. Because her need was not money. It was not a house. It wasn't material things. She needed a child. Please clap for Jesus. It's clear about the needs. You know the needs? It's something that God sees that you're lacking. At the gate of the temple, the beautiful one, the crippled man, he was there. John and Peter, say, what are you expecting from us? We really don't have it. We can see that you're expecting from us money, but we don't have money. But there is something we see that you need, and that one we have it. In the name of Jesus, stand up on your feet. May God make you stand from your crippled state. May he address your needs. May he heal you in the name of Jesus where you have faith. May God meet your need today. Because our God is able. He is able. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. The need you have. Praise be to Iman Jesus. God knows you need. No, no, no. Now, someone read Proverbs uh, chapter 11. Before uh, we go to the main word, Proverbs chapter 11. Okay. Uh, Proverbs chapter 11, someone read. 24 and 25. Hari umuntu utanga akwiragiza. atanga cyane. Nyamara akarushaho kunguka. Kandi hari uwimana birenze urugero. Yes. Ariko we bizamutera ubukene gusa. Umunyabuto azaba Umunyabuntu umunyabuntu azabyibuha. Umunyabuntu azashisha byibuhe. Kandi uvomera abandi nawe azavomerwa. Uvomera abandi nawe azavomerwa. It says there is one who scatters yet increases more and there is one who withholds more than is right but it leads to poverty. The generous soul will be made rich and he who waters will will also be watered himself. Amen. Munyemerere mbasomere nizi izi yimigani yose mutega matwi mwandike. Please uh, listen to me as I read all these proverbs and also take notes. Uh, 19 verse 17. Proverbs. He who has pity on the poor lends to the Lord and he will pay back what he has given. Proverbs 28 verse 27. He who gives to the poor will not lack, but he who hides his eyes will have many curses. You have seen that the Proverbs were written by Solomon the king. He knew the principle of giving and receiving. This principle that Paul was talking about, that we are going to talk about, also, it has been said from long ago. Whoever stretches his hands, whoever gives something, he's the one who will be given back. This doesn't uh, uh, avoid the principle that God gives rain to the good and the bad ones. Listen to me carefully. So that I uh, don't think that I'm thinking about those who are trading with God. I'm talking about the scriptures. I'm talking about the word of God. 
What comes from you? It is recorded in an account in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He who waters others will also be watered. He Whoever. Whoever remembers the need of those who are poor, God will also remember them in their time of need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, Paul was talking to the Philippians. He told them, I'm happy. I know that those things you have done. Now, let us talk about verse 19. That thing you have done. You know, it can't uh, make God go silent. And he said, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Listen to me. We all know that scripture, right? We even though we might not memorize it all, but we like to say, God, we know that all that is in Christ is for us. But I would like to tell you, even though God in his grace gives us generously, so many times even without deserving it, but as a believer, I would like you to share this. This word is telling us that us who have believed in Jesus Christ and who have the Holy Spirit, God is expecting us to do something. There were so many churches that Paul had done good to. But only one church came to his rescue. And he said, now I come as I know this God of mine he's going to supply your needs I want to ask you brethren the Philippians were a church just like you when he said that God, my God shall supply your needs he said it in one word how is God going to supply our needs he knows the needs of everyone who contributed in helping Paul. I would like to tell you that God knows your needs. And he knows those things that you think you need while you don't need them yes. in reality. He knows those things you think they are urgent while they are not. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. He said, that thing you have Now, you, are, you see what that condition we learn Sunday comes in. This promise, even though it is said in a certain circumstance, so many times you like to claim and say, God, you said. But it goes hand in hand with what is coming from up. I would like to tell you, you who is following me, I have never seen God ignoring those people who do good to others. It's impossible. It can't be. It's impossible. You know, it is God who told the Philippians to remember Paul because he was suffering because of them. That's the way he does for you too. In the same way he remembers all your words. Uh, last Sunday we learned that God is not uh, unjust to forget all the good works you do for the saints. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And then he said, not that I'm looking for your gifts. Not the gift. When we're talking about the giving and receiving principle, there are so many arguments in the hearts that come up. And the devil comes in. 
And then there will arise all those things that are against the knowledge of God. Because the devil knows these principles and these scriptures and he doesn't want us to be blessed. Paul knew this one. No, 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 no. He said, no, no, no. Satan the devil shouldn't deceive you. You have sent a prof Epaphroditus and you have given me. Now I'm well, I'm comfortable. And I tell you that I have exceeding. But I have a problem with you. And I really wish this. This is what I wish for you and for myself. Is that your account in heaven my increase? The Bible tells us that giving that comes from a willing heart to touch his heaven. There is an illustration I have asked for. That is the basket in heaven. It's there. Just yes. It is. Yes. Since the day God saved, there is an account you have in heaven. Since the day God saved, when you are not yet saved, you know, it was just wasted. Praise God because he forgives us. When I used to, I think about uh, the greed I had when not yes, giving, just not giving people, just breaking down one thousand you know someone you gave uh, a coin to is it that you making them live the one you gave a hundred did you give them something you know sometimes we want to deceive ourselves that we are giving while well, you know very well that the one you are giving to it's of no help to him no use. actually it's causing you to sin they, they think about you they keep thinking about you. Say that person. May God forgive us. May God forgive us. Now, there is gold. There is gold. Because there is gold. There is gold. There is gold. There is a portion of everyone that you saw in heaven every time you give with a willing heart because this is not trading with God. God. Tell your neighbor so that your heavenly account might increase. Yes, Hashimitan. Praise be to Jesus. I don't know it if, if it has ever happened to you. There is a bank that has been writing to me telling me that they are going to close my dormant account. It's true. You know, they have sent me warnings so from the police. Deposit something or we are going to close. Because it has been dormant oh, yeah. for long. No, 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 no. Yes, sometime I even forgot about that one. Say very fast. I want to tell you. May God keep you from having a dormant account in heaven. I praise God because I'm not the one saying this. I thank God because he corrects our mindset and thinking. No, May he correct this mindset we have. May God correct that mindset thinking that if you give this to that person, you're making them rich. Actually, you're doing a favor to yourself more than you You know, in this world, when you give something to someone, you just say, this person is living because of me. But in the heavenly kingdom, when you give with a cheerful and willing heart, thinking about the need of your brethren, you're doing a favor to yourself. Your account in heaven, it increases. Who accepts? Who? In the name of Jesus. From today on, let us be rich. 
Let us not hide behind the spirit of this world. Church of Jesus Christ, let us not hide behind the spirit of the world. The spirit of the world that says, oh, they are coming and they are going to take it from me. They are not going to take it. Just do it for heaven and ignore the others. Paul said, my God shall supply all your needs because of what you have done. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. Amen, amen. Amen. Conte yuzuri. May your account in heaven be full. Conte yuzuri. May your account be full. Kuberi chivene datu. Why? Kuberi kwa tukwa honye ngu haru munu ukwira kuiza nyamara ni uchira kurushao. Because we have seen that there is one who scatters yet they become more rich. Aba kumya mashini wabidi. Only two people have clapped. I'm not asking you to clap. I just want to explain this to you. David has said, I have never seen the sign of a righteous person begging for food. Do you know what it means? You know, there is something that the righteous have sought for themselves in heaven. This world is coming to the end with everything in it. Haven't you seen that it's coming to the end? Haven't you seen that this world is running to its end? What you see, doesn't it teach you? What was valuable is no longer. What was called politeness and good manners and integrity is now coming to the end. There are no more values. Even when you bring the Bible, they will tell you, you are old, you are not even educated. You know, you have so many complexes. They are trying to avoid the truth of the word of God. For someone to put aside the truth, they try to give it different names. No, you need to store something for yourselves in heaven. You know, in heaven, how do they consider your time? No, don't just talk about money in the basket. Now talk about time. Yeah. Yes. Because there are different types of needs. When you have visited someone who is in jail, there are so many needs. There is someone who needs someone to tell them, be at peace. Myself who is telling you this, there are times I need someone to tell me this strong. I feel that someone who will do good to me is the one who will tell me, please be at peace, this time is going to end. Beloved, in heaven, what is so there for you? The world shouldn't deceive you. May the world do not deceive us. Those who do not believe, they insult us. And then you are there behind them clapping. I'm going back to the teaching of the Say it has become No, those things are not mixed. That's why I no longer attend church. The one who is listening to me here on online, you are mistaken. Let those who messed it up, God is going we to ask them. But don't go into businesses that are not sure. Just mind your own business. There is a spirit of the world that has gone into the church. Say, oh, the leaders have fallen. Oh, where are we going to go? Is Jesus dead? Has he disappeared? Is the spirit of God gone? The one who has redeemed you with his precious blood has he disappeared? Doesn't he speak to you something? Is he so silent he doesn't say anything true to you? Yes, May God help us. Let us read. Paul. There is a God who supplies your needs according to his riches, but also according to what you have done, how you have invested in his kingdom. So 2 Thessalonians 
Tu ihuti. Let us go fast. Abo ungereza mugiye kudufasha mutangire musome muri Bibiliya z'icyongereza twihute. For the sake of time those with English Bibles please read in your own Bibles. Dufite umubatizo. Uh, we have baptism just after. Abatesaloniki ba kabiri. Uh, we read in 2 Thessalonians. Gatandatu. Gatatu uh, pardon. Chapter 3. Gatandatu verse 6 to 9 please follow this scripture please discipline cyangwa ngo tugire uwo turya ibyo ubusa ahandi baravuga ngo turye umugati wanyu ahubwo twagiraga umuhati n'imiruho dukora kumanywa na nijoro kugira ngo tutagira umuntu muri mwe turemerera icyakora soko tudafite ubutware ahubwo no kugira ngo tubibiheho ikitegererezo ngo mugere ikirenge mu cyacu yes ashim praise be to jesus Said there are servants of God who walk disorderly. I recognize that. Really to help you, I recognize that. There are servants of God. Unfortunately, who are called servants of God. But who do not have discipline. Who don't know how they should behave. About this Paul was talking about. But Paul gave us an example. Say, remember well. We did not live among you in disorderly. Remember that we used to work. We worked with our hands. Why did we do that? So that we might not be a burden to you. I recognize that as servants of God, you should not be a burden to the believers. Yes, yes I recognize that. That's what the Bible tells me. Because when you start becoming a burden to those you lead, when you start being a burden to those people you should sustain with the word, there is a problem that has happened. There is a problem there. He say we worked. Why did we do that? So that we might not be a burden to someone and that can become a hindrance to our gospel. That's the word of God. I want you when you get mother servants. When you don't want to give in the house of God, or when you don't want to stretch your hand. To give them I don't want you to use what is happening as an excuse. Just use the word of God. Yes, Indeed, there are people who cross the line. Who put so much pressure? Who put so much pressure on the believers? Those are the ones Paul was talking about. Who put pressure on Who tried to twist the scriptures so that they might get something from that? In the name of Jesus, that is wrong. I tell you that's what Paul is teaching us that is wrong. But let me tell the church that is seated here. You know, don't emphasize much about all those arguments. God knows his servants and he knows what he's going to do for them. That shouldn't delay you or cause you not to do good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It shouldn't cause you not to do good. It's, uh, it's a problem that is happening. It's really sad that such things take place. It shouldn't in the house of God. But can you allow me to say something for those who are seated? 
Deka tuvugira imana. Let us speak for Bakumba God. Nimureka tuvugira imana n'abakozi b'Imana rimwe na rimwe tuvugira. Let us speak on behalf of God and his servants sometimes. Paul aravuze ati no narakoze kugeza igihe kugira ngo ntagire uwo ndemerera. Paul said I worked so hard so as not to be a burden to anyone. Kandi byo ni byiza ati kugira ngo mbihe ikitegeririzo. And it's true and he said I wanted to set an example Ukwa for you. Ko bundo mukozi w'Imana kwiriye kubaho. Actually that's how a servant of God should Hana be. Hanamuro mega tugira police yuko abantu baza kuba abakozi b'Imana bahoraho here in Omega we have this policy that people become full time in the ministry when God has told them that but at the same time when we see that there is a need for them in the ministry this is why I got this policy. I also used to work. I worked until 2017 seven when God told me that I'm more needed in church than I'm needed out there. But even so, you know, the people of God don't come here in church oh, to yeah. get money, no. The one who hired them should sustain them. However, as I'm standing here, allow me to speak for those who stand here. Because servants of God, wherever they are, they really make me feel Now, someone has left his job and he comes to serve God. And indeed, they had a living before coming here. And God has called them to work in the ministry. And now the fellows are there. So here now, you can never know those who came here escaping their masters. I'm telling everyone who is following me. Church of Christ. I want to tell you. We are in a new for a year. And the lies have spread in the house of God. Now, that servant of God, even though God will remember I'm asking you, believers. The believers are going to hide behind the fact of saying God who called him should take care of him. All of you who are following me, don't think that you get out with it well. Yes. Yes. I ask God for the strength to say this. Because there are so many who can say this. But I can say this because I don't ask from you. I don't ask from any of you. No. And I thank Jesus for that. There are many who can't say this. I'm speaking for those who can't be able to say this. Even though I'm speaking to you, but I'm also speaking to those who are following on The Bible says in Galatians 6, 6 that he who shares the word of God, they should share with those who are, who are being taught in every good thing. Go and read. Be careful. Let us not hide behind the spirit that is failing nowadays. There is a spirit that is hurting the church. There is a spirit that has come to create a position between the leaders and those who are led. That spirit is there. And that spirit wants you to turn the back on the church. Not this church. No, no. We don't have that problem here. You know, people might refuse to give for their own interests. But we don't have that problem here. But I'm speaking for others. I'm speaking for others. Church of Jesus Christ. God is expecting us to play our role. You know, you won't say that uh, since 2017 things have become a confusion in no. the churches and we don't know where to go. No. There is a choir that sang, continue the way you have started. Don't keep hearing all those things. And don't create things in your mind. What does the Bible tell you? 
Yes, Hashem. Praise be to Paul Jesus. Atireka. Paul said no. Nashatse kufata ikitegererezo. I wanted to set an example for you. Kugira ngo bishaka azadufate ikitegererezo. So that whoever wants they can follow our example. Akurikira ikitegererezo cyacu. Follow our example. Twe kwica gahunda. Let us not be those who are disorderly. The Father mu izina rya Yesu in the name of Jesus. Muhumuriza agenderera abakozi b'Imana bariho bica gahunda ibabwire ko bariho babivanga. Don't worry he will visit those servants who are living disorderly and he will tell them that they are in the wrong way. And all of us will be continuing. Yes, Hashim. Praise be to Jesus. This, this is a time to unveil what the devil has been doing because it's too much. He's been lying to people. Deceiving people. He deceived people. What the, did the blood of Jesus do? Think about those servants of God. You know, the servant, the believers want you to feed them. Sometimes their wives don't work. Every time the children have to go to school. And the word of God doesn't allow him to take for food. The word of God tells you believers to also do something. Let me say it. You know, you can never understand how it makes me sad. Who deceived the Christians of this world? That when they get saved, the Bible says that you need to share every good thing with those who teach you the way. They give you what they have received. Let me tell you this, please. Sometimes I remember how I got saved. You can also remember how you got saved. Beloved. You know, I was neighbor with the servant of God. Him and his wife, they would tell me, after uh, leaving work, please pass by home. When I would get there, they would tell me, pray for this and this and this. And they would tell me, God has told us that you should do this and that. And they would leave me the right to examine whether what they told me was right or wrong. They didn't lie to me in any way. When I think, after I came back to Rwanda, I used to ask myself, what can I ever reward him? You know, I can't give him anything because God doesn't eat material things. But, has but in my heart, I used to think about those things he gave me. Beloved, I'm not talking about the human being. But I want to tell you about those people God used for your own sake. Those people God used and you end up saying at the end of the day we'll be at peace. But you need to weigh that. What is there in your heavenly account? The world shouldn't deceive us. You know, the devil is taking people from us. Sometimes I sit in counseling and I hear Christians who are bitter. And that root of bitterness, they have had it for very long. I want to tell you, everything that is making you sad or breathing you, everything Everything that is making you feel bad in the house of God, it doesn't give you the right to become even worse. No. Actually, if you become sad, if you're, you're grieved, then it should make you a better person. Second Corinthians. Oh, yeah, Corinthians. Uh, first Corinthians, sorry. Uh, chapter 7, verse 15. Those who have English Bibles, please read in your Bibles for the sake of time. But let us speak for the Let us see what the Word of God says. Let us see what the Word of God says. Ninde wigeze kuba umusirikara kitungara. Ninde utera uruzabibu ntari y'umutozarwo. 
cyangwa se nindura girisho ntari kame mbese ibyo mbivuze nko umuntu gusara cyangwa amategeko nayo ntavuga rico byanditswe mu mategeko ya Mose ngo ntugahambira umunwa w'inka ihonyoringana mbese inka nizimana yitaho gusa cyangwa se yabivuze kubwacu agahita yisubiza ngo yes so gushidikanya byanditswe kubwacu ni musoma hejuru yavuga gawe nabari nabo you were speaking about him and Barnabas. Koko muhinza kwiriye guhinga afite ibyiringiro kandi umuhoza kwiriye guhura yiringira kuzahabgaho. Turageza kuri 15. Mbese ubwo twababivye mibyo mwuka ntibikwiriye ko tubasaruramo ibyo gutunga umubiri. Torero rya Yesu. Church of Christ. No burenganzira Paul aravuga ati nubwo ntakoresheje uburenganzira bwo kubasaba Paul said if and if I didn't use the right to ask from you Ninga yavuga ati niyo mbikora nta nkomye is like he said even though I had done that I wouldn't be able to say wrong He said it in second He said it in second Thessalonians and now he's repeating it Niba tubabibamo ibyumwuka Now if we saw spiritual things for you Ni dufite uburenganzira bwo kugira ngo ibyumubiri natwe tubibone Don't we have the right to reap material things from you I want to tell you Paul is not asking just like I'm not asking too. but I'm trying to correct a wrong mindset I'm trying to correct a wrong mindset that is in the children of God let us change yes praise be to Jesus let us continue the reason why he doesn't use that right yes ashim amen he muzi yuko abakora imirimo yo mu rusengero batungwa n'ibyo rusengero kandi abakora imirimo y'igicaniro bakagaba n'ibyo igicano ni mwumve kwiba yari amagambo y'Imana numwami wacu niko yategetse abavuga ubutumwa bwiza batungwa no butumwa wa mere yesa maji please clap for jesus ikibazo ni kimwe the problem is this manipulation manipulation ikibazo no guhagarara abantu nabo bakitwaza yuko ngo bafite uburenganzira ngo cyuza nari ko ngo ntunzi ko imana yavuze ngo duhereze the problem is those saying oh you know God say that you should give us so bring kwa jinara yesu in the name of jesus habwe ibyo ari ibyo imana yavuze it's not what god has said imana yavuze ibibwira bicaye god has said it to those who are being called imirimo yo mu rusengero that they should support those who do the work of the ministry and do it without being prompted to do so hallelujah amen duhindurwe ni jambo ry'imana to be transformed by the word of god yes ashim praise be to jesus narindangije ariko jeweho ntacyo muri byo nakurikije kandi sinandikiye byo kugira ngo mubinkorere ariko Paulo yaraza abantu <laughs> ati buri abarataba bati igihe kirageze cyo kudusaba Paul knew that people go home saying now it's time he starts asking from us. Agaho, umuntu, kumbi, because the devil always makes sure that people will get Kandu things in the wrong way distorted way, way and that people will be damaged sinandikiye kugira ngo mubinkorere ibyo mbera byiza ahubwo nuko napfa kuruta umuntu yahindura ubusa uko kwirata kwanje I love that. It will be a problem when someone gives you and they think that they sustain all your living. When the children of God go from churches, they go saying, I'm the one who did that. Actually, I'm the one who did that too. I want to give you a piece of advice. Whoever in the neighborhood in, uh, in your families, just take that person from Think about God. Think that you're doing it to God. Every time you should think that you're doing it for God. Paul said, not that I don't have that right. I'm spe still speaking for the servants of God. Those who walk according to their calling. 
There are some who can never take this microphone and say it. They will think that those who are there, they are going to leave. But believers, you need to know this. It's your right to give, the, it's their right to receive from you, not that you should make yourselves poor, but think about them too. I'm speaking to the church of Christ yes, in general. Chana. Praise be to Jesus. Sowing spiritual things Tugasarura. and reap material things. That's what the word of God says. That is not the responsibility of servants of God to go begging or to try to manipulate through oh, yeah. teachings. Let him who wants to give to the servants Re of God willingly. Those who want to serve in the house of God, those who bring this flowers, let them bring it wholeheartedly, willingly. Those who give us this pulpit, let them do it willingly. Whatever you do, let us have it recorded in heaven. Otherwise, that's where comes those believers who will be manipulating servants of God. They will think that they will receive positions because of what they do. That one is not true either. Correct. Whoever works, let them work as if they are led by the Spirit of God. As I wind up, I said, uh, it's good for me. Uh, it's uh, sweet smelling aroma. A uh, sacrifice that is accepted. And that is pleasing to God. The way to give. The Bible says, when you give, do it in such a way that your sacrifice is accepted. I want to tell you that God doesn't eat the things we give him. God looks at the heart that is giving. Otherwise, it will be like trading, then we need to correct that. I'll give 100,000, and God said he's going to give me 10 times. And now you'll be claiming for 1 million. No. No. It's not trading. The principle speaks for Your itself. Principle. That principle speaks for itself. God knows that even when we give material things, the Bible says that he can make the fruit of righteousness abound, and he gives us to know him even more according to the need that you have. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. And he said it is sweet smelling aroma. Do you know that word, the aroma word in that time of sacrifice? When they put an animal on the fire and then the smell will come out, when God will agree or accept that sacrifice, it will be a sweet smelling aroma to God. What did that mean, beloved? They had been first repenting and then cleansing themselves so that whatever you give might be accompanied or pushed by a spirit and heart that is willing. You know, it's of no use to give grudgingly. You know, actually, before going to help your brother, you should spend more time asking yourself, do I do it with a willing heart? Yes. Yes. Even if it's something small. Because those who give, they grow into giving. You start giving five, and then later you give a cloth, and then you give a piece of field, 
Piece of land, and then you grow, you keep growing into giving. Because God will deliver us from greed. Until the, that point where you have nothing on your own. Because nothing we have that we didn't receive from God. Second Corinthians chapter 9 verse 6 to 13 that is going to emphasize on that verse 9, 6 to 13 umunu wes atange mwukwa vigambire mwumuti mawi ati inubu na umu hata kukwimane kundwa utanga ajizate Ajizate, God loves a cheerful shaka kutangu nezerewe. Nihajire presi kuwa hu. God doesn't want you to give out of pressure. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. No. Niba huwa mvavari huwa magushira huwa presi yota hargo nsu barage kuma nunguti bari huwa bara nunarika. If you feel that they are putting pressure on you, just go and tell God these people no, no, are putting pressure on me. No, no, kiri manu pinyi so wanuri nuko bimezi. And ask God to explain to you how things yes, should be. Yes, asika yes. itoko mezi. And then we move on. Kandireiru. Imani ishobora kubasaza ryo nirindi sezerana ishobora kugusaza aho ubuntu bwose kugira ngo rusheho gukora ibyiza byose ufite ibiguhagije muri byose nkuko byanditswe ngo yaranyanyagije ihabakene gukiranuka kwayo guhora witeka ryose iho mu bibyi imitsi ma yo kumugaburira ni yizabaha ibongera imbuto zanyu zo kubiba kandi gwiza imbuto zanyu zo kugira gute Yes, nibs of jingo. Increase your fruits of righteousness, that is spiritually. Tumina Kabiri. Tumina rimwe. Kani muzatunjishwa muri byose mugira ubuntu bwose butuma imana ihimbazwa. Kuko wa muri mo kugabura utamara gusa ubukene bw'uhuhaye. Aho gutera benshi guhimbaza nde? Uziko imana ishaka barara yihimbaza. God wants those who be praising him. Because of what you did. Have you seen someone like Paul who is so satisfied by what they have been given and they nights and days thanking God for what they did? You can't imagine what you have done. You know, you should love it, the fact that people get praise to God out of what you did. Let someone praise God because of what you did. God loves praise. And God wants people to give so that praise may abound. And in that account in heaven, and in that account in heaven, your balance will increase. Amen, amen. Amen. A heart that is willing. Noah gave a sacrifice. And his sacrifice was a sweet smelling aroma before God. What does it mean? A heart that is obedient. A heart that is sincere. Give with a sincere heart. Give with a heart doing it for God. And share with those who are hungry. I want to say those who are poor. Stretch your hand and give those who are poor. Stretch your hand and give to those who are poor. God will reveal to you the poverty, the needs of your God will reveal to you the needs of those who are surrounding you. He will reveal to you what needs to be done for a fellow brother. If you have a heart to help, if you have a heart to build the kingdom of God, he will tell you what is good. Jesus said, out of the measure we use, that same measure will be used after us. Please bring back that basket. The measure you use, it will be used for you. Yes, yes. Pressed down, shaken, and abound or The measure you're the one who uses it or who puts it. Beloved, let us not associate with the world. 
It's been two months that I saw that the Church of Christ was attacked. And that, uh, that flood shouldn't take us. As much as we'll be able to, we'll try to correct what the devil is deceiving people. So that we might take many from uh, deception. Help many to stand in the truth of the word of God. And Whoever wants, please go home and read. Try to see if I made anything from the word of God. And as children of God, let us kneel down and pray for the church. So that the deception that has come into the church might go out. Let us pray that the works that the devil is doing among the children of God might be unveiled for everyone to see. So that we might unveil the works that the devil is doing. Because he wants to take many. He wants to prevent many from crossing, from continuing on that journey to heaven. Let us walk in the truth. And Paul said, you Philippians, this one you should know. My God. He will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And I say to you, speaking this to myself, my God is ready to make every good thing about us because he knows our needs but we also need to stand and do our own and do good for the saints Be, uh, visit those who are in shame receive people visitors, and grieve with those who are grieving and become the hand of God to become the feet of God that God will go through you and do what Jesus will be doing for you. And don't argue with God. Don't argue with God. What do you have that you didn't receive? What do we have that we didn't receive? Even this we are speaking, it was, it's been given to us. Please stand up and let us pray. We are going to pray. I know that everyone can relate to this message. And I know that there is someone who wants to cross to shift. And they will say, I have seen myself. And I don't want that mindset. I don't want to be thinking like that. Because the word of God is clear. God wants my fruits to abound in heaven. Close to me, there are people who are poor. In the house of God, they are poor people. Churches are full of poor people. At your workplace, there are certain needs. In your family, there are needs. And Jesus wants to move through you so that together you might address those problems. But you just need to change your mindset. Don't look at everyone who is around you and think that they are coming to ask from you. And this doesn't concern all only those who have so much. Because that woman gave two coins and she gave more than everyone else. This is all about the heart. It's all about the heart. I want everyone who felt convicted in any way, any area, just put your hand on your heart where you feel that the Holy Spirit has spoken to you, something that needs to be changed, let us affirm this before God. We are going to say to God that you don't want to be taken by this world. We don't want to be carried by the spirit of the world. I'm going to sing one song as we reflect on that and ask yourself do I really want to change? do I really want to change? do I really want to change? 
who I'm still arguing. Is not the word clear enough? Is there anywhere the pastor has added something? If you're still that person, go home and read these scriptures. It's good that you might change out from your heart. It's good that transformation might come with the willing heart. Let us pray to God. Whoever has placed his hand on his heart is meaning that they are accepting they that they are convicted. Let me pray for you. Lord, we pray Nibaduhigihe, Nibaduha imishara yacu, Nibaduha ibzo tuwa koreye, Nibadu zasa gurira ibzo tuwa nye bzinshi, Duchize uomuka, kukuya dukure la wacu, Niha handi njine tuwa tukui korira, Harakanu kawakari woki korira, Ambuka mga, Udukure munda bigusawu, Udukure ke nizi ziba mubandi, Udukure kubuchene buba muri wajenzi wacu, Utwere kubukene buba muri yo miryango ndetse no mu baturanyi. Utwere kubukene buri mu itoro rya Kristo. Utwere kubukene buri mu gihugu. Yesu waratubwiye ngo urazamutse ugiye mu ijuru. Ngo imirimo wakoraga ukwizera azasigara yikora ndetse ashobora kurenza. Ni twebwe twabaye abafatanya bikorwa. Ni twebwe turiho tu reconcilia le monde mwami ni imana. Turiho turabikora mu izina ryawe Yesu. Reka intambwe zacu zitugeze ku bukene bwa mugenzi wacu. Butugeze ku mukene mwami ubukene bw'umuntu. Kuko hari ubukene ushaka gukuraho. Hari ubukene ushaka kumara abantu. Hari ibintu bibuze ushaka guha abantu. Nyamara uri mu ijuru uzakoresha ite ku muntu. Ntabwo uzamanuka gusa. Uyu munsi nano ngo tubone abamarayika bamwe bamababa tubona abamarayika mu bantu. Ijambo ryawe rikambira ngo twakira abantu twagukira abantu ngo gukora imwe abakera bakiriye abantu bagiye kubona abasanga barabamaraika mwami reka twaguke du umutima waguka du umutima wagukira inzu yawe twagukira imirimo yawe twagukira igihugu cyacu twagukira ubukene buri mu gihugu cyacu ibibura mu gihugu cyacu ibikwiriye mu gihugu cyacu reka itorero duhagarare mu cyuho ni wa muri mu wadusabye nk'itorero kugira ngo dusengere igihugu mwami wanje nkwereka aba bene data ndagusaba ngo buri wese umusango muhindure ariko ntacyo byatumarira twibagiwe igihugu cyacu waduhaye kuba mu Rwanda tukarara mu Rwanda tugasinzira mu Rwanda tugakorera mu Rwanda mwami mwizina rya Yesu tuzamuye urwanda imbere yawe tuzamuye urwanda mu biganza zawe byera mwami amahoro y'urwanda niyo amahoro yacu mwami turasenga ngo muri aka kanya mwizina rya Yesu mwami icyo urwanda rubuze icyo ngicyo ubona gikenewe mwami amaso yacu atubwira byinshi abakene ku mubiri ababuza gakiza abagongana kubera ko babuza gakiza nibyo aha byuzuye imitima turebesheje amaso twavuga byinshi ariko muri isa wawuze ubukene bw'u Rwanda wawuze ikiri kwisonga twebwe turi abantu nitwakimenye ariko wowe buri urakiza turagusenga mu izina rya Yesu ngo we intervene ubukene bw'u Rwanda ubukene bw'igihugu cyacu useruke useruke aho habe aho habe uhasubize icyubahiro kibica urakoze kubyumva urakoze ko tutaguhata amagambo mwami gira neza buri muntu wese ugushaka atakuryarya ndasengera umuntu wese ushaka kwakira Yesu mu mwami no mukiza umuntu uvuga atari ko ngewe nta mana ngira nta gakiza mfite nta Yesu ata mu buzima bwanje sinzi naho bahurira mwami utarafungura umuntu wawe 
ngo avuge ngo Yesu ngwino mu buzima bwanje ungira umwana w'Imana ndasenga ngo umeza ryo uyu munsi uyu mwana mwana umutima we awukingure urare mu izina ryawe ryera mubabarira ibyaha bye bizose ibicumuro byose niko wasezeranye mwami imana ishobora byose umuhama horo y'umutima umwandike mu gitabo cy'ubugingo kandi guhera uyu munsi ugendane na w'intambwe kuyinde uzamugeze mu ijuru amahoro ushimwe habwe icubayo kuko ibyo tukubwira mwami bikunezeza kandi witeguye kubikora reka masengesho yacu abumubaga guhumurira neza reka bigitambo kiza mwami gishimwa nawe utwumvure mu ijuru udusubiza uri mu ijuru utame ikirere umanuka nibisubizo icubahiro nikuzo bikomeze bibe kuri wowe mu izina rya Yesu uvuga ngo amen imani duha no mugisha mwakoze god bless you thank you Kawera nda kunyotewe wiruganze muri nje unyigishe umindure unyiyobore we kuri njange dose ngenzu kushaka mukawe Oh, yeah.